Okay, question number five from S1, January 2019, International A-Level paper. Um, question about probability distributions, um, discrete random variables and questions like that. So some children are playing a game involving throwing a ball into a bucket. Each child has three throws and the number of times the ball lands in the bucket X is recorded. Their results are given in the table below. Okay, so 16 times, um, no balls landed in the bucket. Okay, 36 times, one ball landed in the bucket. 24 times, two balls landed in the bucket. And four times, three balls landed in the bucket. So we've got to find the mean number of times that the ball landed in the bucket. X bar, that's what X bar means. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to find the total number of times that the, 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 the balls land in the bucket altogether and divide by the number of throws. So there's you know, 0 times 16 landed in the bucket. So x bar is going to be, you're going to have 16 times 0. I'll just write that down for the sake of writing it down. Don't, it's going to give you 0, of course. And you're going to have 36 times 1 ball landed in the bucket, 24 times 2 balls landed in the bucket, and you've got um, four times all three balls land in the bucket so there was this number of um, games played all together the number of games played there was 16 um, plus 36 plus 24 plus 4 so 16 plus 4 is 20 and 20 plus that's 60 that's 80 that's 80 times okay the games were played all together and 16 of those games the, none of the balls went in the bucket or in all three throws 36 of the games one ball went in the bucket 24 of those games they managed to get two and four of the games all three of them got in so anyway we can work this out now that's going to give you zero that's 36 plus 48 plus 12 48 plus 12 is 60 plus 36 let's just confirm that you got 36 plus 48 plus 12 that's 96 so you get 96 over 80 which gives you 1.2 okay the answer for part a 1.2 is the mean number of times a ball felt went in the bucket in in each particular game okay okay so now for number two it says Sandra decides to model the game by assuming on each throw the probability of the ball landing in the bucket is 0.4 for every child on every throw and that the throws are all independent. The random variable S represents the number of times a ball lands in the bucket for a randomly selected child. Okay, find the probability that S is equal to 2. Okay, so let's do part B here. You've got to find the probability that S is equal to 2. So basically, either the ball hits the bucket okay let's call that hits the bucket okay or landing lands in the bucket let's call it let's let's say lands in the bucket is l and l bar is does not land okay not land in the bucket okay so we got to find the probability that it lands in the bucket twice so you're going to have either it lands in the bucket in the first row and the second throw but it doesn't land in the third throw or it lands in the bucket for the first throw doesn't for the second throw but it does for the third throw and the other possibility that it doesn't land in the first throw but it lands in the last two throws those are all the different possible ways of getting two balls landing in the bucket okay so the probability that it lands in the bucket is 0 0.4 for any particular throw and they're all independent of each other and the probability therefore that it doesn't land in the bucket is 0 0.6 for any particular throw so all of these will involve 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6. So if you combine all of these together, you're going to have basically 0 0.4 times itself times 0 0.6. But there's going to be three different cases of it. There will be three different cases of it. Okay, so you've got to multiply this by, by 3. So you're going to have 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6. You'll end up with this. So that's going to give you 0 0.4 squared times 0 0.6 
and you've got times 3, which gives you 0 0.288. So the answer is 0 0.288. So we can say the probability that S is equal to 2 is 0 0.288. Okay, so now for um, the next part, it says complete the table to show the probability distribution for S. So we know that probability S equals 2, 0 0.288, so we can put that over here. Okay, what I'm going to do now, we know that this has to equal um, the difference between 1 and the sum of these, because all the probability distributions have to add up to 1. What I'm going to do is just to make sure that I'm on the right tracks, okay, because in the exam, of course, you don't have a mark scheme or anything to check for, you can make sure that you're on the right tracks by using the similar, a similar method to work out the probability that s equals 0. So if you work out the probability that s equals 0 and then check that all your, your results add up to 1, you're kind of making a check that you did this one correctly. Okay, Because if you just add these together and subtract from 1, even if this is right or wrong, you know, you're still going to get an answer which will be wrong. Then, okay, if this was wrong, this will be going to be wrong. But if you if you can um, work out that this is equal to the probability that uh, s is equal to zero, and you know your answer with all the other answers add up to one, then you're kind of sure that you got these two right. It's like a check that you got these two right. Okay, so according to the method that we use, the probability that he's going to get zero balls in the bucket is going to be basically 0.6. You're going to miss each time, isn't it? It's going to be like miss, miss, and miss, so it'll be 0 0.6 cubed. Okay, there's only one way that can happen. It's not like this one where there, you can miss on one and miss on the other. Here, you're going to miss all three of them. So it's 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.6. So you get 0 0.6 cubed. Whoops. I've got the 6. 0 0.6 cubed gives you 0 0.216. 0 0.216. Okay, so that's 0 0.216. And what you're going to just, to check that we've got the right answer, we're going to add these together and hopefully they add up to 1. So 0 0.216 plus 0 0.432 plus 0 0.288 plus 0 0.064. And that gives you 1, so you can kind of be sure that you're correct. So we've done B and C now.